Hello and welcome to the channel. I am the Evernote guy providing you actionable content that you yourself can use to make your Evernote better and better. Breaking news in the world of Evernote. This is quite something. Evernote have just released tasks for Evernote as a new feature. Particularly pleased with this after I've spent three months perfecting my own task management system to have Evernote go and release one globally for all users. We're going to have a look at it right now. I will give my initial hot take thoughts on it and before doing a more using it properly and giving a proper review. So let's get straight into it. Let's chuck me down there and this is how to get it. Go to the Evernote website, go to features, scroll down to tasks. You can get some uh, information about it there and play the videos and read some read the blog way down here i don't care about that anyway download to try tasks click that and it will download the latest version of evernote and you'll be able to access tasks i've done that already so let's have a look here is my demo account and you'll see a new icon on the left here in the shortcut bar tasks early access i took a screen clip of when i first entered this and it said in early access, you'll be given access to all features, I think regardless of your plan. I guess at some point in the future when it is in full operational use, there'll be charges for this, maybe included in the plan or additional charges, who knows. So let's have a look at that. And you click on tasks and you can find your tasks in there. The things to do master note, which you will, I think if you create a new task, it defaults to that. Or you can add a new note that is a task. I'm not sure there, let's have a look. Uh, so let's just click on add new task here okay here we go there's that note you've got full access to task during early access certain features will be limited to specific plans when task is officially released got it okay so we're going to enter task test out en tasks and we can set a due date there set that for next friday and you can add a reminder. So that's a nice little feature. So it's due next Friday, but we can add a reminder on Tuesday if we haven't started it. I don't want a specific time, just, okay. Whoops, let's put that 09. So it looks like the reminder has to have a time. So I just put that 0900 or 9 in the morning. You can do a flag there. I'm not sure if that's just like a, maybe you could use that for your own priorities. And you add this to things to do, or you can move task. Okay, so if we move the task, okay, so I can move the task to either a new note or find a specific note that I want to add it to. So tasks aren't their own individual notes, they are individual things. I'll put it in the, in the things to do, and I can't select that, so I need to cancel out of that and just create. So I think that's added it into the new things to do, and you can see it there. So let's add a, let's create a, new, let's create a new note, um, and call test task note create. So where did that go? Test task note. Okay, so that's you can see that in there, and we can add. Maybe is there now a difference between special task notes and normal notes? I don't know. Add new task. So select there test task note task that was really good english let's just create that quickly so that goes there okay so i'm thinking the way this is going to work it's going to group our tasks in notes so let's go into one of our sussex meeting notes that we created last time and let's pretend we're in here i know the shortcut to do this is alt t and yes, that works, that works well. It's all T on Windows, I don't know the Mac one yet, it's just come out. And you can see it creates this little task dialog section here. How will this display in master task view? And again, I've got the add due date, all the items there. If I tab, that just tabs along. That's not good. So obviously you're not, you don't tab to tap out of it. So if you hit enter, that oh, that creates another task. Okay, so here is another task. How do you, I'm not sure if it's not tab, it's not enter. I'm not sure how to get back into just normal note writing. Maybe that will be a feature we find out. So I'm just gonna click out of that. Okay, so back to normal. Okay, so I wanna see how those tasks look, look now. So if I go into tasks, Okay, move me over there. So we're starting to get a list of, okay, so we've got a list of notes and then the tasks within the notes. So you could keep that as your project perhaps and then the tasks would be in there. 
and that's not a bad way to do it and when we tick them off it's done hide completed would you like to complete task to be hidden by default i think you would because otherwise you're just going to get a ginormous list of completed stuff so hide completed and that's now done does that and that removes the whole thing from the note view okay and so that should go now as well and we'll just tick all all these okay so interestingly enough they still remain there because it's like it knows that they've had a task they don't have any active tasks you okay we've got twisties there as well it's going to be fun to use i'm going to have a and we've got a sorting option okay okay so this is going to be fun i'm going to have a play around with this i'm not really sure okay we've got little purples there what's the purple represent don't know maybe that's the to do that's the just the to do list gets gets that by default anyway super exciting new addition to evernote i wasn't expecting it like i said spent a long time building my own task management system so it'll be interesting to see how this compares whether it's better whether it's something i can integrate into my task management system to make my task management system better or whether my approach is better in the first place who knows i'm going to play around with this uh, do some deep dive probably run a, a like for like test with my own task management system and evernote and report back on my think of it but those are that's my hot take on new just released today go download it try it out yourself evernote have released tasks after i think the user community asking for it for a good part of 10 years anyway that's all from me this time there really will be zero editing i'm just going to push this out straight away i'm probably not even going to add any music or a title so i hope you enjoy it and comment down below what do you think of the new evernote task management system or evernote tasks love to know what you think that's all from me thanks very much cheers bye